Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on Scorched Earth map for you. I'm using the Balance Iteration 3.4 because I've gathered um, a load of maps, uh, updated versions of the maps, so uh, that, you know, it's all the latest um, balance changes and stuff for all the units and abilities and everything. It's the latest version, basically, when you play on these maps. You know, you won't see the old three bombers from the Ukrainian parabomb drop or anything like that. It'll be the latest version. That's an obvious example of a change, that, and it's that kind of thing, you know. But um, the new refineries that have the square footprint and they don't have the little extra cell at the top in their footprint and the new and the new refineries you can move through them through uh, not every square but you can move through a few squares of the refinery say there you go you see that's placed you can move through this bit of it that's why you can put engineers behind inside it to capture it to help hide them but i saw him come in here and thought i've got to protect my engineer and when this is captured i'll have the view range from it but he paused i think he could have overrun me or maybe taken out the engineer but now he can't. Let's see, both going for the second refinery. And is he organising a kind of a formation, you know, uh, which is far better if he can engage with two units, like two groups like that against one that he's firing at from me from more directions, so it's uh, he'll have the advantage, but not when I've got the view range. And I'm standing here like this, so I'm not using the maximum view range from the oil derrick but i'm still got the advantage and there's these guys back up here as well but i know i'm aware i have to protect my base and i'm using russia and my opponent's using france for this game and i'm capturing my second oil derrick here we go he's going for it and he is approaching from the right angle it's just i've got too many troops and the advantage of a little bit of that view range yeah he's he's firing blind so he's firing where he can't see, but I'm aware I can see very few shots landing luck, so I'll just move out of the way and leave that. It doesn't... I'm not bothered. I've got my engineer back. Just got my war factory. Let's have a look. My opponent, he's able to place his now. There you go. There, he's revealed the that, <coughs> excuse that enemy rifleman with view range. So this guy opened fire, but with him taken out, I can't see him anymore. And he's getting the healing from the hospital. Look, you see the little red cross symbol. While he stood still, you get a few ticks of healing, and he's healed. There you go. Now I've got my vehicle. I'll take out this area. At least secure my own oil, Derek. My opponent's transporting his engineer in a ranger. And there's his third refinery. I've got my third. My engineer's trailing behind. It's vulnerable when there's rangers about. I spotted it. Oh dear, I paused right up front. I should have kept going. That's what I always say. Uh, keep, if you go and run into troops, keep, give them an order that enables them to keep going. And stopping at any point like that, stopping to turn round, is even slower than stopping and carrying on. So there's an example of what not to do with your APC. Give them longer move orders. so that. Um, and if you see a group of enemy units, order them away. But if you don't get time, at least it'll move through and away from them in a fluid single move rather than pausing but he's I, i'm fighting under the view range of his hospital which is a big mistake so i thought well i've got to attack into it i can't um just stand there because he can see me and i can't see him uh, now i've lost all my units but my engineers captured it and he's getting away while they cover his retreat so i briefly own the hospital looks like his engineer is actually capturing this oil derrick here. Three thousand army value each, but my opponent is ahead. Here we go. Is is uh, Rangers a veteran? 
and he's destroying the hospital, I wouldn't do that, because he's got his engineer there. He can finish that and then use the ranger to transport it back here to capture that. But still. My opponent's building tanks. He's got his first expansion set up. I have as well. And my opponent has 7,000. I have 6,000 value army. And here's his engineer going on a little, a little mission. See, I haven't got my rifle scout set up. I have on this side, look. But here, he's probably taken out by the ranger, probably. Here we go. I'm moving out with a couple of unit groups. And I've got my first expansion set up here. And I'm transferring ore trucks. But my opponent is going straight for it. That's the smart thing. And I kind of knew. That's why my game sense is telling me to have primary production protect this. And that's why I've got three base defences there already. So I knew. But... You know, he's got a force, he's gonna... And this force here is protecting the construction yard. For some reason, I thought I saw a plane, and he's allies anyway. So that's why I built two flat trucks. I don't know, I saw something here, and it must have been a vehicle nipping into the shroud. But I thought it was an aircraft. I'm uh, seeing things. And he's destroyed an ore truck there and there. So he's killed two of my ore trucks. I managed to save this one just. He's cleared out two defences. Without vehicles with these infantry, he doesn't want to leave them there. But I saved my MCV. And now I'm pursuing the enemy. But I've gathered all my forces together. So he's straight here to attack. An excellent move. And that's going to take out another ore truck. And another expansion, but I've gone straight back to this expansion, look. And I've still got ore being mined in my main base, so I'm okay with that. But my this unit, I thought, right, I've got to a counter-attack. I just can't respond again to him. So I'm moving this back and ordering my home base to rally new units. So I've got my tank, look, there. That should move up there. There you go, look. These units are going to group here and make a defence. While this force is a counter-attack force, I can't just keep reacting but he's taken out a third ore truck at least. And here we go, I need these tanks up front, but I've got a nice formation lock stretched out in front of him. Two pillboxes though, I shouldn't have gone that far. But I've taken out his troops nicely, and I've got some nice veteran units and two tanks to screen them. My flak trucks moving through to tell me what the enemy assets are. And I'm launching another attack because I think, right, he must be responding to this. Surely I've breached his defences. So I thought, I'll hit him here. And he's actually set up here already. But he's brought these straight back. So he's probably wise to, because this force is being whittled down. He's done quite well. But I've taken out his service depot. And let's see his power situation. Yes, he's in... Oh, no, he's just recovered low power. I am attacking... No, he is low power. But if I don't destroy that, he'll soon recover it. And I did overrun his expansion here, took out an ore truck, but he's brought back those units and it's enough to send me packing. I thought, I'm not wasting units on an attack that I can't make use of if I do win. You know, but at least I got his service depot here and he's, he's not repaired his power plant. But there you go, I've moved back and there's enough to defeat this attack force, especially if he's got a medium tank and I've got a heavy tank. and more heavy tanks to come, but there's this force here, and it's obviously to target my ore trucks, which he probably got some, but I've taken that out, and his engineer's still sat there. I still own my single oil derrick, although my opponent has two. Now, um, let's have a look army value. I've got 7,000, my opponent's got 9,000 in army value. Economy, my opponent's got 12,000. Ouch, and I've got 1,500. That's not good. I'm down to five ore trucks, and I've expanded up to here. My opponent's on seven ore trucks. But I thought, right, go on a flanking attack, and he'll be able to see that. Look, he's seen it because of this. That's silly of me. But he's responding, he's sending his units ready to 
attack. I didn't know he had seen me. I wasn't. I must have been a bit distracted and busy not to notice. And but I saw straight away that he was here waiting for me. I just thought he had bumped into one of his flanking attacks. But no, it's because he knew full well where I was. But him sending this force, really, it was a trap. I, I revealed my units on purpose, that's right, sorry, I should have said that, I should have started with that, and here you go, it worked perfectly, look, there you go, screening from the pillboxes, and he's building units here, so he's not building anywhere else, I can rally what other forces I've got, look, for another attack elsewhere, while he's probably freaking out about this here, because I've hit his expansion. Now, as this force, I'm, I've bumped into some of them, but these guys managed to sneak through the gap very nicely done and that distracted this attack here because there's no tanks up with this front line so that's not good but rather than run i thought no i'll take on this force there you go look and it worked so now he can't build here for the moment and it'll draw away forces but i thought i'm not leaving them there i will oh look my mcv I was very lucky to survive that. He's chasing it, but no, these guys, he's got cover. I've got his back. No worries. So uh, I'm assuming that's got my attention at the moment. Yep. <laughs> Big surprise. But uh, these guys should move. There you go. They're moving out, and I've sent them shift command to attack here, which is, you know, perfect. And uh, he can't build base defences there. He's vulnerable. So even though I haven't got a vehicle with them, in this case, I don't need one. But that's pure luck. You should always have a vehicle with them. It's just pure luck in this case, because you breach the enemy front line and you often find that their expansions are vulnerable. And the uh, better they're doing and the more aggressive they are and the more they're beating you, the more vulnerable some of their backline assets are. You know, they set up uh, refineries quickly if they think their um, MCVs are safe. You know, they'll move from one airfield to the next to the next, leaving that. Do you know what I mean? And there you go. But I'm in the middle of his base, that's a mistake, so he'll have view range on me, but I couldn't resist this. And he's called it. See, I was attacking two at one, and I, I was getting the two um, construction yards at once. But I didn't destroy his refinery on purpose because I was doing this lot, thieves. Uh, let's have a look at my production. Yeah, I've ordered a few thieves, but um, and he wanted a rematch, and I said, yes, I'll be back on for a rematch in a few minutes. Um, but we'll look at the army graph um, and all that, all the stats and graphs. But uh, And I'll back on for a rematch soon, I said. So hopefully there'll be another one, part two. But I was getting thieves on the go because he, uh, I'm assuming he was okay. Yeah, look, he's still got plenty of cash. And I'm struggling for cash, but obviously because I was spending it as I was earning it, I just managed to keep it going. And having cash in my home base helped. But there was something here, um, here though, because he just, he, he uh, basically wiped out that expansion. Not the structures, but I think an ore truck or two were taken out. So, uh, and I think, so he must have had some units there perhaps. Because I remember seeing that in the game and thinking, actually, this is beyond my uh, resources to respond to. I thought, what am I going to do? And I couldn't send more ore trucks here because I didn't want to lose them. So I just sort of focused elsewhere. And uh, But it worked. And there you go. That ended up being a nice attack. So, yeah, there you go. There's the, uh, I'll go, there's the army graph anyway. We both looks like equal army value until, like, it's about seven minutes. And then the combat started. Uh, earnings graph. Yeah, my opponent had a nice earnings spike there. Nice one. And my finishing army, five heavy tanks. A thief has just started in a small group of infantry. Uh, there's some veterans here. Uh, combat chart. I killed 239. My opponent killed 211. My army value at the end is 14,000, so it's not too bad. I destroyed 60,000 in value. My opponent, 46. So it was a good scrap, a good battle. No support powers in effect. Uh, production still going. I'm building thieves and heavy tanks. Uh, economy. I earned 86,000. My opponent earned 91. So, yeah, he did have a better economy than me because he was taking out my ore trucks quite early. You know, he got one, two, as uh, one here and one trying to escape from here. And then he got another over here pretty quickly afterwards. And then he's taken out... I'm sure he took out some here. 
I'm think I'm pretty sure I remember thinking I've lost an ore truck there uh, or two at least probably because of the refineries and I remember thinking I can't send ore trucks there to harvest that and I didn't have units to uh, to escort them either didn't have any spare so uh, I was thought right well I just and my attention then went elsewhere on more important things but there's the economy tab. I've got four ore trucks left, so not great. Uh, what's my income? Six, six grand income. Well, so that's all right. But here's the basics. I'm at 31 actions per minute. My opponent at 44. Um, my opponent's got plenty of cash left, like I say. But I only lost a couple of structures. My opponent lost 10, but it was enough to decide it. You know, the crucial things were taken out. You know, he was probably right to call it. Because um, that last attack were doing doing some damage to his construction yards, I think. Both of them. Um, so there you go. There's the stats and graphs. There's um, post one for today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the game. I did. It was a good first game of the day, this. Uh, a good practice game. A good start to wake me up and um, get me prepared for the next game. Uh, probably get some games with the, with the France in today. So look forward to those, hopefully. And if you liked what you saw this game, give us a sub and a like. And thank you for watching. And until next time, everyone, goodbye for now. Battle control terminated.